All right. Hello and welcome to uh, Beats Academy, Raw B Beats Beats Academy. Um, today is a uh, great day, and you know? um, I'm in my afternoon session here today, uh, where I'm uh, actually chilling in the living room right now. I'm not actually in the studio. Um, I'll be in the studio a little bit later. Um, but I was just chilling out right now, and uh, while I have some free time on my hands. Uh, proud to announce that I just won the uh, Colorado Springs Beat Battle second place here in Colorado Springs uh, this past Saturday. And in doing so, um, I, I had the opportunity to connect with a lot of people and uh, win a prize. I actually won this UVI workstation you see in front of you. Um, and uh, I have to say I'm pretty impressed by it so far. So with the impress, uh, the things that I'm impressed upon on and some of the sounds and some of the things that it can do. I'm going to just go ahead and knock that video out for you real quick uh, while I was sitting here. I'm going to show you a few things that it can do um, while I attempt to go ahead and just do a quick cook up. Also, that's a quick make a beat. Um, I'm going to make a quick beat and uh, while I'm doing that, I'll explain a few things of what I'm doing. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, let's go. Alrighty, and we're going to jump right in. So, uh, pulling up the UVI workstation, uh, VST. Um, we're pulling it back up. Uh, I had to exit out there for a second. Um, let's see what sounds we have. I think I had a sound earlier. I found a sound. We're actually in the banks. Uh, you go to the vault. Uh, when you load it up, I'm sorry, let me start it over. From, when you load up the UVI workstation, you actually load the files on the computer. Or in your documents or wherever you would have it. I also I actually loaded mine on my desktop. Uh, and going into the desktop, you will see the file, the Urban Vaults file. Uh, that's that is the file that came with the Urban Vaults kit. And I actually went online and downloaded a couple of demo packs um, because that's what I love to do. I love sound. So anything that's out there, I love to see if they have like a demo pack or anything for me to try it out just to get the feel for it. That way, if I really like it, I'll go ahead and purchase it. Um, of course, like I said, I purchased the machine and a few other things um, I will be showing you here in later videos. Um, so that's a great hint. I see a lot of people ask about sounds and free sounds and stuff. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of free things out there. Uh, a lot. There's tons. I just found out about the UVI workstation. Like I said, I never really knew about it before. We all know about Contact Workstation and uh, Complete and uh, Reactor and other workstations. So, but UVI is fairly new to me, so make sure you do your homework and go just search up some new sounds. There are tons of free sounds out there um, that a lot of producers neglect. So uh, just check that out. Um, so going to get back into the vault, in, in the urban vault, uh, and I have a kit already loaded up. And let's see. We're going to go back to the kit. And the kit that we have in right now is the urban vault EDM. Uh, we're looking at a B major. They actually tell you the kit, the tempo, and everything that's already there. Of course, but this tempo is set to 120 at this time. And just play around. I had a sample. I'm just going through the kit, showing you some sounds. These are the sounds, like most of the sounds, not all of them, but most of the sounds that come with the kit. So as you can see, essentially what they did was they actually built the beat or they built their melody or track. And then what they did was separate the sound. So that's what they have across these different uh, different keys. Um, they separated the sounds in, into different tracks. So let's see. I don't think this is the kit I had earlier. I'm not really finding the sound that I wanted, so let's go to another kit and play around with it. I think this is it, yeah.
Okay, so we got a few melodies. Let's go ahead and grab a quick melody. I'm not going to really play anything. Um, I actually, uh, before I started producing, I was a musician. I played the piano. So um, I'm not really going to play anything here in the chords. So we're just going to use the samples that they already have. I'm just going to show you what it can do. to four bars and a chord. Shift record lets you play in two, three uh, clicks and then the uh, recording starts. So what I'm going to do is actually double those because they're not long enough. So let's undo that one more time. clean up real quick. I love for my uh, music to be as clean as possible. Um, so you might want to take notes of that. Uh, try to clean up your notes sometimes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes you will want that musician or that feel or that instrument to be there as if someone played it real time. Sometimes you want that electronic or uh, program feel. At this point we're looking for that program and electronic feel so we're going to go ahead and make sure everything is good and tight. So back into the loop. It's a loop we created so far. Two samples. All right, so now we got the loop. Let's go ahead and make a quick drum sample. So, piano samples to choose from. Like I said, we just chose two. So let's go ahead and go down to the kicks and snares. See what else we got down. Here. So like I said, you have the pre-program, but we want to make everything here. Let's go ahead and make one real quick. duplicate that pattern so now we're on pattern two let's go ahead and do the drums and it's gonna go drum kick shift record two three four Drums are tight like I want them to be. Alright, 
so now we have the drum. Let's go ahead and throw a quick snare in there, duplicate that pattern again. And I, I sometimes I don't always duplicate my patterns, but I just duplicate as many as I need. I feel with more patterns, um, you can build the song and and you can do whatever you want as far as arrangement. But with the uh, not so many patterns, or as, as least, uh, uh, if you do a few melodies and you do a few drum patterns, um, you don't have a lot to work with. I like to have a lot to work with when I have a song or a beat built or beat building a beat. So um, I tend to more so do more patterns because I will always like to throw away or not use a pattern. Whereas in I'm building the beat and I'm feeling building the song, but then I feel that something is missing. Most time it's missing, you tend to scratch it, and that's just producer start over. So try to build as much on your beat as possible. That way you, you can throw away parts, but you'll still have a lot of meat. Um, and you can always take away during the song, you know. But uh, I add as much as I can. So let's add a little bit more here real quick. Two sounds in there, and we're duplicating it. Run pattern three, so shift record. Let's go ahead and do that clap. Alrighty, so a few little quick little things. And so we have a basic beat there going. So let's go back to that pad. Um, and that is... Actually, what I'm going to do is to show you the uh, these changes I want to make real quick. I can't really make it on one UVI workstation uh, instance because if I make this one instance, it's going to affect the drums and everything. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this, uh, what I have here, use one for the pad, one for the drums. So let's watch this real quick. So here on my machine, I'm going to select copy, copy that instance of UVI workstation. Actually we're gonna copy into the whole different group. So copy, new group, and we're gonna paste. It's that simple. So now here uh, what we're gonna do is go back to group one and I'm gonna eliminate my drums from this group because I won't need it. I'm just gonna use the pad here. And we I do this because I track out all my sounds. So I need all my sounds on separate tracks. So, and I, I think of about when I'm making a beat, I'm always going to track everything out. So, I want to make sure everything is on different tracks. So, try to keep that in mind when you build your beats. That way, you get to the end, you don't have to worry about so many complications or how I'm going to get this sound or how I'm going to separate this. So, try to keep that in mind while, before you, while you're building your beat. Uh, back to the drums and the group number two. Since we have the pad in group one, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the pad here. Delete. 
Now, what we also need is the UBI workstation. So copy that and paste that. In. And it didn't do it that time. Let's see here. Let's just go ahead and throw it back in there. UBI workstation is in your other. And you click on it. Yeah. Bam. Bam. And we were in the let's see which one was that? Let's make sure we get the right one. 02128 G major. EDM2. Here we go. And let's go ahead and check it. So we're good. Did you see that? So we got the pads on pad on one sound on one group. Group A and group B is the drum. So that way we can separate it. Drums. And the reason I want to do that, like I said, I want to show you something real quick here. Like I said, I was going to show you some things about the UVI workstation. Um, as you can see, it has a lot of effects. Um, the pads here, the pan here, uh, and the volume uh, has key mode, note repeat, quarter sign, one shot, input, latch, and MIDI functions. Uh, here's your play mode. This is your... Uh, latch to mode so what it does is it latches to the uh, DAW whatever DAW is hosting it will play and uh, play at that BPM and it will actually uh, play from there instead of playing from this device so when you hit play on your DAW it'll play there let's see you're pretty much slaving to the uh, DAW the master DAW and so triggers two times toggle stutter effect and pitches these are all modulation effects um, and modulation that you can do to your uh, sound. So that's what I want to show you real quick. So let's go ahead and use the pad. Solo out the pad. I'll show you some real quick things here. I love the stutter effect so far. I'll show you that real quick. There's different ranges. And so the effect button, what it does is it just says how much of the effect do you want on the sound. Because I, the thing I really like about this is, um, it's kind of like if you're familiar with Fruity Loops, I don't really use FL Studios anymore, but Gross Beats had a function where um, you could put as much as the effect on the sound as you like. So this kind of does the same thing. That way you don't have to take away the from the whole sound if you don't want to. You know, that's good for producers who want to make a sound and say they want half of the sound going in and out. Another sound, they still want it to have that presence in the uh, track. So that's why they don't want to make that effect on the whole sound. Um, or it can be used for just about anything. That's what I really like about it. Um, going over to the pitch. If you see the uniqueness of this, actually every time the pad switches, watch the automation. So if I really wanted to keep this on or record that function for that pad solely, it would keep it on for that pad solely. That is dope. Or you can actually record the automation into the uh, the uh, playlist or the uh, pattern builder. Of course, that's just about every DAW. But these uh, pads alone, say if I want to keep just a stutter on one pad, so you see that the uniqueness of this 
workstation that I don't think any other DAWs or uh, not DAWs, but any other workstation that I've really worked with does, has done that. Um, that is something new to me, so I really like that function. But uh, yesterday I made a, a track and I actually uh, automated. So these are quickly automatable knobs. Click on them. Um, of course, you can automate them to your machine, uh, your uh, MIDI keyboard, or whatever have you that you're using for your MIDI. And that's very fun. Also, I actually made a track yesterday, so they're dope for that. Um, getting back into the UBI workstation. So stutter, you see that the pads can change and then actually keep the automation and keep the uh, effects on that pad solely. Or you can actually uh, create your own automation. So let's see. I wanted to show you that. So I was able to show you that stutter effect in the past. Uh, a few more things here. I'm going to go ahead and, and stop out for this video. And we're going to go a little bit deeper in the next video. And uh, I'd just like to stop and say here in my next video, um, make sure um, if you don't mind to leave comments down here for this one. And I will go ahead and answer some questions for the next video. And I will go ahead and comment on some things that uh, may or need to, may have uh, I may have left out or some questions you guys may have. Uh, so go ahead and um, like, subscribe, and comment to the channel. And make sure you look out for the next video. It will be coming here back to back. Uh, it should be about two to three videos a week uh, you'll be looking at. Let's see here. So back into the, the UBI workstation. A few more things here. The glide. So the glide function is on. Uh, important in a lot of uh, VSTs. Sometimes you have to go into the voice, you know, you have to find it on different VSTs like Massive or um, uh, what is another VST I use? Expand VST or in Pro Tools or if you're in Logic, any DAW you're in. Um, the glide function, what it does, is it glides each note into the uh, next note. Um, so that is a very important function when you're using basses and say if you're just using track where you're trying to do that with a dance song and you want notes to slide into each other. So that's a very important function and easy. You won't really see the effect right here with this pad, um, but that is a good highlight I wanted to point out. Of course, we have the pan, the tune, and the volume. Um, let's see here. It's not really much else I wanted to point out in this video, but I did want to give a quick overview of the UVI workstation. I wanted to go ahead and do the quick cook up for you, like I said, stated. And if you guys have any other questions or concerns and, uh, for the future and uh, any other videos I will be doing, product reviews, uh, equipment reviews, um, and uh, tests, uh, just give me a shout out, uh, shoot my email, make a comment on the video, and I'll get right on it. Go ahead and go ahead and uh, hop on this track and finish it up here. A few more sounds, and then uh, I will be knocking this video out. And, uh, We'll be on to the next one. pitch to the uh, triggering the pitch on some of these uh, sounds actually giving that brighter sound that I'm actually looking for in the dance song so like I said I just play around with the VST a little bit um, but that does cause call it for this video and uh, like I said be looking forward to the next few videos we'll dive more into the machine the uh, machine actually had a new update I think they're on 2.3 or 2.4 now I actually go ahead and dive into that update uh, and more video of VSTs uh, stay in touch and uh, it was my pleasure and I wish you guys the best. Have fun making beats.